one candidate fighting for us in 2016. It's Bernie O'Boss. Bernie O'Boss. Bernie O'Boss. In 2016. It's Bernie O'Boss. Bernie O'Boss. Bernie O'Boss. Hey, this is your boy Robert Brown with B O B or B T V, and I told you guys a few days ago the plot for the established media, the established Democrats, to go ahead and crown. Hillary Clinton as the nominee before the California election. I told you, I told you, I told you. It is a plan to suppress the vote in the next upcoming states. So today it finally came out. Based on pledged delegations, pledged delegates, and unpledged delegates known as superdelegates, they lumped the number again and pronounced her the Democratic nominee. In the year of the outsider, the fact-free election, definitely it's been a year of a lot of voter anger. And at least on the Democratic side, there's been a lot of progressive shade thrown at how the Democratic Party picks its nominee. I'm talking about superdelegates. Let's talk about this. Joining me now, Louis Miranda. He's the communications director for the Democratic National Committee and a former advisor to President Obama. So you've heard these complaints about superdelegates. I know that they've been there since the 80s. 84. 84. Um, and one of the complaints from Sanders supporters is that superdelegates subvert the will of actual voters, that the establishment candidate effectively starts the race with 20% of the delegates in his or her pocket. How do you respond? The reality is, is that 85% of the delegates at the convention are selected by the results of primaries and caucuses, so the voters themselves are the single biggest factor in who becomes the nominee. Uh, superdelegates, I think one of the problems is the way the media reports it. Any night that you have a primary or caucus, the media lumps in superdelegates that they've basically polled because they just call them up and say, who are you supporting? They don't actually vote until the convention, and so they shouldn't be included in any count on primary or caucus night because the only thing you're picking on primary and caucus nights are the pledged delegates based on the vote. But what about uh, when we do, so our, to when we do our totals, you think it's okay to include? Not yet, because they're not actually voting, and they're likely to change their minds. You look at 2008, and what happened then was there was all this assumption about what superdelegates were going to do, and many of them did change their mind uh, before the, uh, the, the convention, and, and it shifted uh, the results in the end. Uh, but to be clear, the superdelegates have never actually determined who the nominee is since 1984 when they were created, and after 2008, they were actually reduced from 20% to just 15%. Uh, and so I think we're, we're in a situation where the voters continue to be the single most important factor. And the, the purpose of the superdelegates is to make sure that our elected officials and party leaders who are the backbone of the party uh, get to participate at the convention. But it's also good to have them in a separate category hmm. because regular folks can run to be delegates at the convention. So you'll see in 2008 we had a 17-year-old who got elected as a pledged delegate uh, who would have never had that chance if he was running against his member of Congress. So it's, it's, it's a way that we do it uh, to make sure that we also have diversity at our convention because we want the convention floor to look like the rest of the country. Very interesting. The DNC itself saying don't include superdelegates in the totals to cable networks like our own. It is a fallacy. It is a media lie and it is designed to keep people from going out to vote tomorrow. So if it is over with, if she is the nominee, why go vote? Now I'm sending this message to you Hillary supporters. What she's basically, basically saying right now is you don't even have to go out and vote for me tomorrow because I already got this thing in the bag. I'm the nominee. And if you believe that, I encourage you, don't go vote. And if you don't go vote, which in my book, you don't have to. You're free not to do it. Watch what happened in California. If, if this thing may end up biting her in the behind like her email scandal going on right now. So what if the Democrats and Hillary supporters do not go and vote in California. You're going to end up making this thing a landslide. See, I'm a person about democracy, period. I don't believe nobody suppressed the vote, even for Hillary supporters. I don't care if it's Donald Trump. You should have a right to vote. When somebody do something to suppress your vote, then that is illegal. And the news networks are participating in this. Why? Because Comcast, which owns MSNBC, Warner, um, Time Warner, which owns CNN, Three, two, a, a big, um, two of Hillary's top five donors. Research it and look it up. They're trying to skew this thing for her because they're investing in this thing for her. So it is a fabrication. It is a lie. If you go to the U.S. politics website, if you go to Real Club Politics website, if you go to your local electoral website, it will tell you 
that she did not clinch this thing. The bottom line is, no matter what, Bernie Sanders fought hard enough where she cannot clinch it on pledged delegates alone. And the only reason you can call it for your candidate, whether it's Bernie Sanders or Hillary Clinton or Jill Stein or whoever it is, you cannot call it on superdelegates. You only can call it on pledged delegates. And right now, neither one of them have enough to clinch it. This goes to convention like I told you before. It goes to convention. So this thing is not over. They're saying it on TV, but it is a lie. It is fabrication. It is skewed to make you not go out and vote tomorrow because tomorrow is a big day, especially for the uh, Sanders camp. Because if he went to California by his landslide, he's in the league, and then they're going to be calling for Hillary to drop out, especially when she got an FBI indictment looming over her head, and she just got scalded by her State Department. The people who she ran, they turned around and scalded her for um, violating three different laws. One is the RICO. One is the Federal um, Information Act. She broke these laws. These are criminal laws and you'll be seeing things. And right now, um, my whole main thing is, if they indict her, if she become the Democratic nominee, and they indict her, guess who become president? Nope, not Bernie Sanders, Donald Trump. Donald Trump will become the president because the indictment are inevitable. This is something she cannot skate away from. This is not a slap on the wrist. This is Espionage Act, the RICO Law, and the Federal Information Act. She violated all three. And that's why the FBI is investigating her. It is not a security inquiry. FBI is investigating her, and they are planning to indict her. So for all you supporters, and for you guys to push people into the Oval Office knowing they commit crime, my thing is, what, 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 what is wrong with you guys? Come on, you got to do better than that. You got to have some kind of brain. You don't vote for crooked people. And that's why the other crook, known as Donald Trump, is calling her crooked Hillary because she is. And this right here, for her not to stand up and stand out and not accept the nomination. So a person like this would say, no, I am not the nominee. Uh, I cannot claim the superdelegates because the superdelegates don't vote till July. And it's just like me saying, all right, California, um, we polled California. California is going for Hillary, so we're going to make Hillary the nominee. No, they got to vote first. What's the purpose of voting when you're going to poll people to the presidency? You're going to poll people to being the governor. You're going to poll people to be the senator. What's the use of us going to vote? That means our vote don't count if you're going to do that. So you cannot do that, MSNBC, CBN, AP poll, all this, you cannot do that. Oh, you're going to do it anyway, but better believe, FCC lawsuits will be coming. And not going to come from the, um, the campaigns of the presidents, or people running for president, they're going to come from the supporters. Because right now what you're doing is blatant voter suppression. You're trying to skew this thing where people won't go out and vote tomorrow. And I'm telling you all today, you need to go out and vote. Now, I would say Hillary supporters, since she says she won, you shouldn't go vote, stay your butt home. But now, I would not do that for nobody. We People fought and died for you the right to go out and cast your vote. And don't you let no news network, let no politician or me or anybody stop you from going to vote. If you live in California, you go vote. I don't care if you want to vote for Trump. I don't care if you want to vote. I don't care if you want to vote, vote for Boo Boo the dog. You go out and vote. Don't let nobody take that away from you. And what they did today is trying to suppress you to say, it's over, stay home. It's over, stay home. No, go out and vote. It's not over. Again, you go to Real Clear Politics. Nobody is able to clinch the nomination in the Democratic Party until July. All right? So you look at it. Yes, Hillary Clinton is ahead of Bernie Sanders by a, a little less than uh, 300. But Bernie Sanders is on her tail. A 60 to 70 percent win in California will put him in the lead, and the rest of the states are scoot, um, are polled for him to win. But we can't count those states as a poll. We have to actually win those states in order to have the lead. So they're doing that, and I don't know why they're doing that because they know the FBI probe is there. They know she's gonna have to step down because in the, uh, in one of the laws it said that you cannot hold office. When you do things like that, what she did as Secretary of State with the withholding information, the, um, deleting the emails, and not letting the State Department have access to those emails during her tenure working there, that is against the law. 
That's the same thing David Petraeus went to jail for. So that is against the, well, almost the same thing. That is against the law. You deleted information, classified, non-classified. The point is you, you deleted information uh, out of your server and you had a server at home at <laughs> that, which is totally against the law. Uh, so those things are gonna happen. There's no if, ands, or buts. She's gonna have to step down. But I don't know. I'm thinking maybe they're trying to do this to say she's the first woman to get nominated for the Demo uh, for the presidential election, which is not true. Jill Stein has been elected a couple of times, uh, you know, in the Green Party. She's um, uh, she beat Hillary to that punch. So she may be the first person to get nominated as the Democratic nominee. But for president, she's not the first person to be nominated by her party to run for president. Jill Stein beat her to the punch. Now, I like Jill Stein. I'll talk a little more about Jill Stein uh, because she said she's making it that, hey, if Bernie Sanders don't make it, if they're going to give him the finger, which they're doing, we always knew there was a tough year battle. We always knew that they, for the simple fact that Bernie decided to primary Hillary, it pissed off the Democratic Party because they wanted to anoint her to become the golden girl and win this thing because it's her term. They were mad at him because he decided to run. When he started running, they started to hope, post, pose him as a French candidate who have no shot. He's going to be out of this thing in about one month. But once, once his message got there, his popularity started to go up. And now he's way more popular than her. Her and Donald Trump is down. And the only thing they can do is do stupid stuff like this to try to get you to think. It's um, try to get you steered toward her way. And I'm here to let you know. And I haven't been doing this for a long time, but I got a base and my base is getting out there uh, pretty quickly. This is a lie. She has not clinched the nomination. You can't clinch the nomination on superdelegates until July when the superdelegates cast their vote. They cannot cast it early and you can't poll them to determine a win. That is stupid. That's not democratic. That is undemocratic. That is un-American. You can't poll superdelegates for a win? No more than I could poll California for a win for Bernie. No, he can't claim California just because California said I'm likely to vote for him. No, they have to actually go out and cast their votes and then the votes get tallied. Then you determine the winner. And it's the same thing in this situation. So don't be fooled. America's really turning into an oligarchy and they're really trying to use big money uh, to shape America and they're trying to shut your voice out. And they're trying to make you in a, put you in a position where you cannot be heard. And I tell you, you do not ever, ever, ever let nobody take that from you. This is America. This is not a dictatorship. This is supposed to be a democracy. And you don't let nobody take your voice or your finger or your ability to go out and cast a vote. Not MSNBC, not CBN, not AP poll, none of them. Don't let them do that. And don't even let the Democratic National Committee to do that. And for... And for her to come out and step up and wave her hand, knowing that this thing really still go to convention, the contest will continue. Here's the deal. The contest continue tomorrow, y'all. A bunch of people um, vote tomorrow. The contest continues. But let's call it the way it is. You only can clinch the nomination by having the most pledged delegates. You got to get up to that 2,000 plus on pledge delegates alone and right now she is not there and she's not going to even hit 2,000 on her own without the super delegates. Bernie is not going to do it either. This goes convention and at the convention you stake your claim why you should be the um, one to run for president and that's when they cast their vote in. Not now. Now, so, now this message goes to the person, the presumptive so-called nominee. You cannot make Bernie Sanders tell us to vote for you. So for you to go around and say you need to get your people to vote for me and support for me, who in the world you think you are? You can't make that man do anything. That man, a grown man, he can't make us do it. As for me and the people who's going to follow this video, matter of fact, I'm going to stop this. This is done. I'm going to start a brand new video, one that you may not like, and I'm hoping a movement fall behind it. Folks, don't be lied to. Don't believe the propaganda. This is not over with. They're lying to you. They cannot, they cannot count superdelegates. They're going to try, but it is an illegal move. It is voter suppression at its highest. They're trying to keep you, not to, um, keep you from going out to cast your vote. And believe me, lawsuits are imminent. 
The networks are going to get sued. The FCC is going to be on them. And if the president is behind this, much as I like Barack, Barack Obama, this is a stain on his legacy for to be the first black president and allow these things to happen, voter suppression. Black people don't do voter suppression. You know what we had to go through to fight against voter suppression? Do you really know what we had to go through? People been hung, burnt, families got blown up. Do you really know what we went through for voters um, to stop voter suppression? And we gonna allow the DNC do that just to get somebody. And some of my black politicians are supporting this. Shame on you. Shame on you. And you know who I'm talking about. Now, this video is done. I'm Robert Brown. I'm saying this all day. I'm going to feel the burn all the way to the convention because I'm going to be there, baby. It ain't over until the fat lady sing. And guess what? Look around. Ain't no fat women in here. Peace. Little burn. Little burn. There's only one candidate fighting for us in 2016. It's Bernie old boss. Bernie old boss. Bernie old boss. In 2016, Bernie or bust, Bernie or bust, Bernie or bust. In 2016, Bernie or bust. Political assassin smashing. What tough us of action?